Siemens has a big announcement in Germany, and Loop Energy announces a fuel cell system that can directly take on diesel efficiency. All of this on today's Hydrogen Podcast. So the big questions in the energy industry today are, how is hydrogen the primary driving force behind the evolution of energy? Where is capital being deployed for hydrogen projects globally? And where are the best investment opportunities for early adopters who recognize the importance of hydrogen? I will address the critical issues and give you the information you need to deploy capital. Those are the questions that will unlock the potential of hydrogen, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Paul Rodden, and welcome to the Hydrogen Podcast. In a press release on September 14th, Siemens commissions one of Germany's largest green hydrogen generation plants. In Wunsiedel, Upper Franconia, one of Germany's largest green hydrogen generation plants has been planned digitally and commissioned by Siemens, demonstrating the key role hydrogen can play in Germany's energy future. Around one year after the official groundbreaking ceremony, Bavaria's Minister President Marcus Söder, Siemens Managing Board Member Matthias Rebellius, and Siemens Financial Services CEO Veronica Bienert handed over the plant to the operating company Vun H2, represented by managing directors Tilo Riesner and Philip Mattis. Up to 1,350 tons of green hydrogen can now be generated annually from renewable solar and wind power in the Wunsiedel Energy Park. Hydrogen is generated by an electrolyzer with a total capacity of 8.75 megawatts from Siemens Energy's latest, most powerful product line. The Silizer 300 is based on a proton exchange membrane technology, which is optimally suited for operation with renewable energies. The hydrogen will be used primarily in the region's industrial and commercial enterprises, but also in road transport. With this amount of hydrogen, 440-ton hydrogen-powered trucks could, assuming a regional distance of 150 kilometers per day, drive for an entire year without emitting any CO2. By using the hydrogen generated in Wunsiedel and the related replacement of hydrocarbons, annual CO2 emissions can be cut by up to 13,500 tons. As general contractor, Siemens Smart Infrastructure is responsible for the construction of the hydrogen plant and the creation of an intelligently monitored and controlled power grid. The customer for green hydrogen is the regional business community encompassing everything from the glass and ceramics industry to transport companies, automotive suppliers, and the neighboring sawmill. The hydrogen will be distributed by truck trailers on a decentralized basis to end customers mainly within a radius of around 150 to 200 kilometers, which includes northern Bavaria, Thuringia, southern Saxony, and western Bohemia. In addition, following the construction of an H2 filling station at the Wunsiedel Energy Park, scheduled for completion in 2023, the regional fleet of commercial vehicles can be decarbonized. In a quote from Matthias Rebelis, managing board member of Siemens AG and CEO of Smart Infrastructure said, with global warming, energy dependency and rising costs becoming increasingly pressing issues, real world solutions for the future of energy are crucial. The Wunsiedel project is an excellent demonstration of how vision and initiative combined with the right technology and financing can drive forward the development of a carbon-free power supply. Siemens Financial Services is supporting the project with an intelligent financing concept and holds a 45% stake in the operating company, Vun H2. Reisner Gasse, located in the Lichtenfels, also holds a 45% stake in the utility company, Stadtwerke Wunsiedel, or SWW, the remaining 10%. And according to Veronica Bienert, CEO of Siemens Financial Services, the financing arm of Siemens AG, future-oriented projects need a solid financing basis. In Wunsiedel, we teamed up with an external lender, the Umwelt Bank in Nuremberg, to implement the first non-recourse project financing. In other words, financing without counter-liability to the shareholders, for such a plant in Germany and thus demonstrate the project's economic feasibility. In Wunsiedel, the energy transition is already a reality. The energy used by the community of 10,000 is 100% climate neutral. Wunsiedel also generates its own electricity and heating. The hydrogen generation plant will be linked to Siemens' existing battery storage facility 
and with neighboring industrial enterprises, which can use, for example, its waste heat or the oxygen split off during electrolysis. Hydrogen also plays a major role in Germany's decarbonization strategy to make transportation, steel production, and the chemical industry carbon neutral, since it can be used to implement many processes previously dependent on hydrocarbons without realizing CO2 in the reconversion into energy. Hydrogen is also an important storage provider for renewable energies. By 2030, 10 million tons of green hydrogen are to be generated annually in the European Union alone. With commissioning of the hydrogen generation plant, the commercial production of the energy source, hydrogen in Wunsiedel, will begin. Talks regarding the expansion of the plant's capacity to 17.5 megawatts are already underway. All right, so big news in Germany, and congratulations to Siemens on getting this contract. And one of the main points I wanna showcase in this announcement is just how heavily Siemens is relying on digital twins and other technology to showcase the viability of the plant. And I remember talking about this last year, that digital twins was one of the primary ways of lowering the economics surrounding green hydrogen. And the fact that they're already talking about doubling the size of this plant points to the fact that they already know that this plant at 8.75 megawatts is going to be economically viable. Next, in some technology news, in a press release by Loop Energy, hydrogen cost parity with diesel cut by up to eight years with new Loop Energy fuel cell. Loop Energy, a designer and manufacturer of hydrogen fuel cells for commercial mobility, will unveil its landmark 120 kilowatt fuel cell system at IAA Transportation 2022 in Hanover, Germany. The announcement marks a milestone for Loop Energy as it believes this new product is a significant achievement in advancing the global hydrogen industry and the transition of commercial transport industries by achieving fuel cost parity with diesel by up to eight years earlier than previously possible. The 120 kilowatt fuel cell system, the S1200, builds on Loop Energy's existing technology to provide additional efficiency gain of 20% when it generates electricity. The S1200 is designed to deliver up to 60% in net system efficiency. This efficiency enables an electric vehicle powered by a loop energy fuel cell to deliver up to 54% fuel to wheel efficiency compared to the typical fuel to wheel efficiency delivered by a diesel engine powered vehicle of 20 to 25%. Loop Energy believes the S1200 and its next generation technology will significantly benefit commercial vehicle manufacturers, fleet operators, and associated industries, as well as a clean energy transition as governments seek to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Loop Energy has achieved this efficiency gain because of its patented E-Flow fuel cell architecture. Specifically, Loop Energy uses a signature trapezoid plate with narrowing channels for its bipolar plates, which increases gas velocity down the plate to deliver superior performance for fuel efficiency and power output. For fleet managers, operators of commercial vehicles, and the wider hydrogen infrastructure market, that means less hydrogen fuel used per kilometer, lowering the total cost of ownership of hydrogen electric commercial vehicles. The fuel costs make up roughly half the total cost of ownership for heavy duty hydrogen vehicles, which makes advancement in fuel cell efficiency a significant factor in creating a tipping point for commercial transition from diesel to clean fuels. Loop Energy's presence at IAA Transportation 2022 also signifies its commitment to the European continent, where it plans to expand its presence and customer base. Loop Energy already has offices in Italy and the UK and is actively engaged with OEMs across the region. Loop Energy is also active in Asia with its new manufacturing facility in Shanghai. The S1200 opens up a new market for Loop Energy as the product is specifically designed for medium to heavy duty commercial vehicles, which is a step up in power range and scope compared to its other fuel cell products. The S1200 is delivered as a complete fuel cell system, which simplifies and quickens integration for vehicle OEMs, 
and makes it a ready-to-adopt solution for heavy-duty transportation and power system applications. Okay, so a pretty big announcement by Loop Energy saying that this new system of theirs is now in parity with diesel costs. And that is a very bold claim. But the interesting thing about this is that this company isn't alone in designing and developing these fuel cell systems for large, heavy-duty transportation vehicles. And we've talked recently that Cummins, Bosch, and several other companies are designing the same thing. Now, we don't have any efficiency estimations from these other companies, so Loop definitely has a step in that direction. But really, what this press release and the previous press release from Siemens tells me is that technological advancements in hydrogen generation and hydrogen utilization are progressing more rapidly than we even anticipated, making the hydrogen economy a reality sooner than anyone could have imagined. All right, that's it for me, everyone. If you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a good review on whatever platform it is that you listen to. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, whatever it is. That would be a tremendous help to the show. And as always, if you ever have any feedback, you're welcome to email me directly at info at thehydrogenpodcast.com. And as always, take care, stay safe. I'll talk to you later. Hey, this is Paul. I hope you liked this podcast. If you did and want to hear more, I'd appreciate it if you would either subscribe to this channel on YouTube or connect with your favorite platform through my website at www.thehydrogenpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. I very much appreciate it. Have a great day.